we're going to start off with kind of a general book question. So a, a lot of politicians and public figures, they publish their life story and autobiography, but you've just gone right past the adult nonfiction straight to the children's bookshelves. So why? Why did you pick kids? Why is it important for them to hear your story? Um, yeah, that's a, I, well, I think that's a really good, that's a really good question. And I think that there's probably a, there's probably a few different reasons, but, um, so there's the idea of it, but then there's the why of it, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And when I think about just kind of like our journey as humans, right? I, I think about how so often, especially, I mean, I know it's true for me, uh, especially when you're a kid, how often we feel like invisible or small or um, not heard or not seen. And I think that, I hope that this book can be um, maybe just a, a little bit uh, or a small piece of a journey that can help, um, you know, somebody see that the, that their, their path is unique. Their journey is, um, is important that it's important that they're seen. It's important that they're heard. And, um, you know, there's, there's definite, there's that, there's that thing that happens, um, that I don't think I recognized until I was an adult where, um, How, like what it feels like to have your experience validated. Wow. And some of that is just, and it, you know, I, I think certainly it, when you think about representation or, or like having uh, kids books that are reflective of kind of our society. Uh, I mean, I was blown away, but then not surprised if that makes sense that, um, you know, there's like, only like 1% of kids book kids books have any kind of native representation in them. And I think that um, when you just, when you imagine this, the small part that like one kids book can play in helping somebody see like, oh yeah, my journey is unique. And like, that's important. Uh, I, I'm just, yeah, I, it, it felt like something that just felt like a really cool thing to be able to, to do. Yeah, that makes sense because when there is less than 1% of children's book have a native representation, then your book suddenly has an outsized impact. And like, and then you stack on top of it that, um, I'm just gonna throw this in here. I think we often, I think, I think kids look at grownups, or at least I did, and think we've got it all figured out. And <laughs> I think we all know that that's not true. Um, <laughs> uh, and or, or that they see, you know, we we look at grownups sometimes and we think like, oh, they had it figured out the whole time. They never made mistakes, you know, and, and especially when like, I never thought I was going to be a member of Congress. Um, and I'm I'm sure there's people who probably think that I was like valedictorian of everything. And um, <laughs> that's that wasn't my experience. You know, I like that's why I share the some of the stories that I share are, you know, I got in trouble a lot when I was in school for talking too much. <laughs> uh, turns okay. out, I mean, I still talk a lot, but it turns out that that's actually like a positive can be a positive skill set, you know, so I think. So I think it's, um, yeah, I think it, I, I think it can, um, hopefully people can connect with it 